And as pressure mounts on the Biden administration to limit civilian casualties in the Middle East, tonight an American family that just got out of Gaza is sharing their story of being trapped for 27 days. Here's Antonia Hilton. For Abood, Wafa, and one-year-old Yusuf, this is their very first time outside, playing in the grass, trying out the swing at home in Massachusetts in over a month. Just days ago, they were one of the Palestinian-American families pleading to go through the Rafah crossing and flee Gaza. Our biggest um, hope was that, A, this is a nightmare that we wake up from. They were visiting family in northern Gaza, when they awoke on October 7th to the unmistakable sounds of war. Airstrikes intensify at night. As soon as the sun sets, I think that's when everybody knows that um, it, time to start praying for the night to pass through and then uh, be alive in the morning. How does that affect you as a parent when your number one hope in the world is to keep your child safe? Wondering if you're going to be able to do that. To be honest, when we were there, um, it was one question. I used to pray, like, every moment for God, um, please not take one of us, three of us. Yeah, it made us feel helpless, I think. Yusuf could end up being on the news, like the many other innocent children that have died. Um, and, and, and that was heartbreaking for us. Wafa and a cat named Milka would entertain Yusuf as Abood waited in hours-long lines for food and often dirty water. By the time you get to the line, you don't even want to eat bread anymore. The amount of dehumiliation that you've seen standing in lines for something as basic as bread, um, it eats away at you. After being turned away repeatedly at the Egyptian border, on November 2nd, finally, they received permission to cross. But safety for their son meant leaving their parents and siblings in uncertainty. Knowing that bad news could come at any moment um, makes it hard to, stop, to start feeling normal. Even if not physically, uh, we're very much still in it. Making it almost impossible to find peace even back home in the U.S. Antonia Hilton, NBC News, Medway, Massachusetts. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.